what is up you guys welcome back to my channel i'm simi a color sonographer i've been in this field for about a year and today i'm going to do an update on my job as a new grad this is my first job after graduating ultrasound school it took me four months to find a job i actually have two interviews one over the phone and one in person they had me shadow their office for a day i shadowed some of the sonographers while they were doing an examination at the very end, they had me scan one of their employees just to see my scanning skills. After that, they told me I'm good to go and then they called me with an offer letter. My work schedule. So I work at an outpatient clinic. We see about 10 to 12 patients a day. I only work four days a week and then I have a three-day weekend every week. I think sonography has one of the best working environment for me personally. This is not my first job in the medical field. I was a medical assistant before. I didn't like the work environment that much because you constantly have to interact with the co-workers. I also felt like I didn't know enough about my job. Ultrasound, you get an independent work environment. My job responsibility as a vascular sonographer includes doing all the vascular exams. There's more than one. Before we do the scan, we have to review the order form. The order form has a type of exam we're going to be doing. It also has patient information, their name, their history, if they have done any procedures in the past or not, or if they have any chronic health condition. Basically, just tells us everything about the patient. Sometimes the symptoms patients having does not match the order form. So in those cases, you call the doctor to confirm. And once I bring the patient back in my room, I have them change. I introduce myself. I explain them the examination I'm going to be doing and I tell them the time it's going to take. So I do vascular exams and we get about 30 to 45 minutes to do the exam. Once you're done with the exam, you're also responsible for interpreting the images, meaning you're going to create the report, you're going to talk about the findings and everything. You're going to include all the small details, anything from abnormal to normal. You should list everything on the report. Later on, the radiologist or the doctor is going to be reviewing the images and also the report to confirm the findings. And the challenges about this job is uh, sonography can be really hard on your physical body. At the end of the day, you could be having some neck pain, some shoulder pain, or some wrist pain. Ten months into my job, I started having wrist pain, especially in my right hand. This is the hand I use to scan. I remember when it first started, I was feeling sharp pain in my right hand and my thumb and also my index finger was feeling numb. So be careful about this career, especially if you have injuries in the past. I really like everything else about this career. I'm really passionate about it. I enjoy being in this career a lot, but there's a bad side to it. On is it can be really challenging. It can be too much for the body and patients have a difficult anatomy or they have chronic health conditions it can be a little hard for you to scan the patient you're still gonna get a scan but i could end up taking longer as compared to someone who has an easier anatomy you're not gonna know just by looking at the patient you're gonna know until you scan them and also every patient has different anatomy so get used to seeing different variations on a patient Another challenge is I want to say at my job, especially because I work at an outpatient clinic, some doctors can be really picky. So you really want to make sure that you're getting all the details and they can be really picky about um, the small stuff. So the doctor is going to have you retake the images. They're going to have you rescan the patient. If they don't trust you enough, they're going to have someone else scan the patient. So this is something I kind of experienced in the beginning when I was new tech. So in my first two months, um, I was getting a lot of reports being rejected by the doctors because I was missing something but later on the more I scanned the more I worked with different patients I, I obviously got better at it and now I barely get any reports rejected maybe once in a while we don't have to diagnose the patient it's the doctor's job I feel like that kind of takes off the pressure from the sonographer that you don't have to worry about being wrong you just have to worry about getting the best images as possible that's it the doctor, the radiologist is going to take care of the rest. So I really like that as a new tech, as someone who just graduated from ultrasound school last year, that I don't know, maybe five years in, in the future, I'm going to want to diagnose the patient. I don't know. But for now, I think it's really good as a new grad that we at least don't have to worry about making the wrong diagnosis. The doctor, the radiologist will take care of that. I would recommend sonography to anyone who really enjoys 
physiology and human anatomy because that's what I liked the most in high school. In college, I also worked for two years as a medical assistant. I have worked with the nurses, the PAs, the NPs, the extra techs, and I was leaning more into radiologies because I thought the x-ray techs were the coolest. I liked what they were doing. So that's how I found sonography as my passion. And it's been one year and I'm really happy with my career. The only bad side is the injuries. My hand, it doesn't hurt at the moment, but it kind of bothers me at night. I'm trying to use my left hand more than the right one. I also wear my wrist brace at work every day when I'm scanning. So this is a wrist brace that I wear every day for work how I put it on literally I the first thing I do when I get to work is put this thing on because good to go you can also use this in the gym if you do heavy lifting or if you're typing all day at work you can use the same thing but obviously I need this to work um, and that's pretty much it I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one bye